for a student so that it can apply to all assignments or assessments within the course. You can also just simply set an exception where there's given, for example, a due date exception on a particular assignment. To set an accommodation that applies to everything in the course, you can do that two ways. First, let's check out how you can do it in the roster. We go into the roster. You'll notice here we have list view, but we also have this card view. Now, in either instance, you can set um, the accommodation. You're simply going to access the accommodations from the three dot menu. And as you notice, I click on there, there's the accommodations. Now, the beauty of viewing your roster in this list view is it does have a column where it shows you accommodations that have already been set for students and you'll see it shows unlimited time for this particular student. This one has a due date accommodation. And also on the front of the student's names, you see the little purple flag. That's just there as a reminder to you in both the gradebook and the roster that those students have an accommodation. And it's something only you can see. It's nothing that your other students will see. So if you want to set an accommodation for a student, you would click on the three dot menu, click accommodations, and then you can see you have the option to either set a due date accommodation, which means they never have their work marked late. Or maybe it's a time limit accommodation. Perhaps you've received a letter from DSR stating the student gets an additional 50% time added to their test. So then you can simply choose the time limit accommodation, add 50% here, and then hit save. And then it's just going to confirm that you wanted to add that time limit accommodation for the student. So now you see it says custom extra time. Now do know that you can remove these accommodations and if you remove them at any time during the course, those accommodations get um, updated in the gradebook and retroactively applied. So if a student had a custom extra time accommodation and you removed it, then their um, gradebook is gonna reflect that they exceeded the time and then it becomes a problem. So if you are going to set an accommodation, keep it there. Um, until the end of the course. You can also do the accommodation through the gradebook. Here in the list view of the gradebook, we also have a student tab. So if we click on student tab and then we click on the student's name itself, the accommodations link opens up right here and it opens the exact same layer where you can set the accommodations for the students. So through the gradebook or through the roster. Now, if you want to set an exception so that a student, a particular student, gets a due date accommodation or some other accommodation um, for an assignment, you would go through the gradebook and then click on the assignment itself. And when you do, it's going to list all the students. And so perhaps this particular student, the top one here, is going to get an exception on a due date for an assignment. So if we click on the three dot menu, we'll see add or edit exceptions. So it gives the name of the student, and here's the due date for the assignment. So I've decided this particular student's going to have extra time. So instead of it being due on August 6th, I'm going to change the due date to August 13th. So that student gets an additional week. So let's click Save. And so now you see this little time icon here. And this is, if you point on it, you see it says new due date applied. So it only applies to this student, and this student has an extra week. Uh, to turn in the assignment. So that's how you do an exception or an accommodation for your students in Blackboard Ultra.